Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. This is week three of my fitness journey. And again, everybody's on their own personal fitness journey, health journey, whatever you want to call it. And um, a reminder, I am not a fitness expert. I am not a dietitian. I am not a nutritionist. I am not a personal trainer. I am nothing. I'm just somebody who struggle, has struggled with my weight in the past, and maybe you guys can relate to me. And, you know, I thought that if I filmed myself, like my, like talked about it, maybe it could help me. We'll see. <laughs> I guess it's a way to stay motivated by talking to you guys. It keeps me mindful during the week and so that I don't just, you know, decide that, you know, I don't know. Anyway, we all want to be our best, okay? Okay. So, um, week one uh, that I did this, it was, I was all excited, I was gung-ho, I was, I, I made the commitment that I was going to write down uh, what I was eating every day, just to kind of be mindful. I was going to start drinking my water, exercising six times a week, just for 20 minutes to a DVD by Jillian Michaels, The 30 Day Shred. And so I did that the first week. I lost one pound, but for me, like, that was my goal. I lost a pound, just over a pound. It was like 1.3 pounds or one and a half pounds, something like that. And I thought, you know, like, great. I, I reached my goal of losing one pound a week because that was what I wanted, but more than that, more importantly, I had lost an inch around my waist, and um, or almost an inch, 0.75, um, and then same around my hips, I went down 0.75 on my hips, my arms stayed the same, so I was so proud of myself, I had stuck with it, um, then for week two, um, I did the same thing again, and I was kind of scared because if you've ever watched The Biggest Loser with Jillian Michaels, and I think Bob is the other trainer, week two, the contestants, they never lose weight. If anything, they gain weight, and so I was kind of like, is that going to happen to me? Like, what what am I going to do? But and, and then also, by the way, week one, I only exercised five days a week, so I didn't technically make my goal of exercising six times a week. Week two, which was this past week, um, I only exercised four times instead of six times, which, you know, you got to, you know, I so I, ha I need to work harder on that. So the good news is that I did it four times, but the bad news is that I didn't make my goal of six times during the week. It just, it gets, it gets hard. You guys know how hard it can be to squeeze in time to exercise, but, you know, it has to be the priority or else it doesn't get done. I think what happened a couple days, I don't know what happened a couple days. I, I know, but, you know, I should have done it at night. I think I was really tired. You know, I couldn't do it during the morning. I don't know. Whatever. This time, this week, I'm going to meet my goal of six times a week. That, that's, you know, I'm, I'm more determined than ever to for the next episode of this fitness journey blog to tell you that I did it six times a week. We'll see. Do, do you guys, you know, what, what challenges do you have with making time to exercise? Do you have your own personal reasons? What, what are they? Comment below. I would be curious to know what challenges you have for making time to exercise. Um, anyway, so I have good news and bad news. The good news is that, like I said, I exercised four times this week. The bad news is that I didn't do it all six times. The good news is that I wrote down everything I ate, like I, like I said I was going to this past week. The bad news is that instead of drinking my water before my meals, I was drinking them after my meals because I found myself getting so hungry. I would be like, oh, I'm hungry. Oh, wait, I didn't even drink water then I would drink it after, like trying to remember to drink my water. Okay, well, so that was a problem that I had, a challenge for this week. And then also, what was my last thing? Oh, I, ca I caved in this week and did drink diet soda. My husband was at Taco Bell late one night, and he was like, do you want anything? And I was like, I'll just have a diet soda. So, you know, that was a, a, a fail that I had. And 
maybe that affected what happened to me on the scale this week because I went up 0.7 pounds. Or maybe it's just, you know, and, and I didn't feel like I necessarily ate more than I did last week. I feel like I had more high sodium foods this week. Like I ate a lot of the sandwich meats, the turkey deli meats, and those are packed with sodium if I'm not mistaken. And sodium can keep that weight on you. Um, plus I didn't exercise as much this week. Um, but I did, you know, so I was a little depressed at first, but I thought, you know what, no. When I measured myself, I stayed the same. Like I didn't, my measurements, they didn't go up. Like my waist is still 28 and a quarter. My hips are still, if anything, my hips shrunk a little bit. I, I almost want to say instead of 40 inches, they're like just below, like 39 and three quarters. But I'm not going to say that. I'll just say that they're still the same, even though they measured a little bit smaller. I don't know what that's all about, but... And my arms stayed the same, 12 and a quarter. Um, but I don't want to let myself get down. You know, I had a little bit of a setback. But you know what? That's no reason to just cave in and say, oh, I've, this is too hard. I'm not losing. So I'll just forget it all and scratch it. No. Like, I've got to keep going. I've got to say, I've got to look at what I did wrong this week and try to do better next week. So... That's what I'm going to do, you know. I did video log what I ate yesterday. So if you want to see what yesterday's meals look like, watch. yesterday I don't feel like I ate okay my salad was pretty big and maybe I shouldn't have eaten all of that steamed rice in that one bag at the at the end for dinner and okay maybe you know I, I you know what though I ate so much chocolate more like junk food in week one when I lost that pound and the first you know inches like or when I my, when my waist went down so I'm kind of like why you know, like, I tried to eat healthier this week. I didn't have as much junk food as I did last week. So why did I go up? Like, you would think. So, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, but you know what? I'm proud of myself for sticking with um, the, the uh, exercise. I'm going to continue with the exercise. Is, it, is the exercise getting easier for me? Yes, I do feel myself getting stronger. I'm just going to watch my portions this week. Try not to have so much sodium because this week had higher sodium. And I think next week I will take you through a tour of my refrigerator. I don't have time to film that 
this week, but I will hopefully next week. Um, so I want to ask you what your goals are for this week. What fitness goals do you have? What dietary goals do you have? I'd be, I'd be curious to know what else other people out there are struggling with. Thank you. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for putting up with all of my crazy. And I look forward to seeing you next week to see how it went, if I went back down or what. So, thank you so much for watching. Please share this video if you think it will inspire somebody or if they can relate to it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to stick with me on my fitness journey or see my other crazy madness videos. Um, and please share this video. Yeah, so like this video if you like it. And I would appreciate that. Thank you so much.